Good morning and welcome to Hump Day Hallelujah here at Ascension Lutheran Church in Citrus Heights. I'm Pastor Scott. And perhaps the most important thing for me to say today is happy anniversary. Today is mine and Robin's 31st wedding anniversary. I know what you're thinking. I don't look old enough to have been married 31 years, but uh, it's in fact true. And Robin and I were quite young when we did get married. Interesting fact, we were married on my grandparents' 55th wedding anniversary. We had no idea when we picked the date, uh, June 22nd, that that would be the case. Uh, my grandfather died when I was quite young, so we were well beyond uh, celebrating or acknowledging that. But when we picked the date, my grandma let me know, and, and I kind of like that fact. Which brings me to talking about weddings today. It seemed like an appropriate topic. And so I think of the wedding at Cana in John chapter 2 where Jesus reveals himself by the first sign, the first miracle he performs in John's gospel. John referred to those miracles, as I said, as signs because they revealed who Jesus is. And if you remember that story, Jesus and the disciples are at this wedding. Jesus' mother is there and they run out of wine and so Jesus turns the water into wine and uh, better wine than they'd been drinking before, something that never happened. You know, you don't, you serve the good stuff at the beginning while people still had their taste buds. But in that, in performing that sign, Jesus revealed who he is and perhaps even gave us a little insight into the import of weddings. Now, we don't believe as wedding, wedding we don't believe that weddings are sacraments. Um, they are not, uh, um, Grace is not conferred through them, but we do believe that, uh, that God's love can and is demonstrated um, through weddings. In the, in the best of marriages, that God's love can be demonstrated in a real and powerful way. Um, I performed a wedding a few weeks ago. I shared with you in, um, in Arkansas at the Thorn Crown Chapel in this beautiful beautiful space and uh, one of the things I said to the couple during the ceremony as we were surrounded by this glass and timber chapel that allowed us to be able to look at the beauty outside of the chapel um, and others actually to be able to look in is I talked about their marriage their relationship and their marriage as as being like the chapel created to enhance the environment around it to to improve the environment around it and I believe that that's the case with um, marriage, the marriage relationship that, and really all of our relationships that are grounded in Christ, that they, <clears throat> any relationship where we keep Christ at the center, where God's love is demonstrated and shared, enhances the community around us. It's about hospitality. When we share hospitality with one another, that hospitality, that love actually then can't help but impact the community around us. And I, and I think that's at the, at the heart of, of the marriage relationship. Marriages at their best or can be some of the most intimate relationships that we have, where we can be most honest and vulnerable with one another. And when, uh, <clears throat> when the church is described as being the bride of Christ, that's the relationship that God or desires with us as well, that intimacy, that vulnerability, that, um, that thinking of the other first. And uh, it doesn't come easy for most of us. And marriage is, is work. Any relationship is work. Even our relationship with God at times can, can be work. But it's oh so rewarding as we experience that love as we give of ourselves and receive um, not an equal share, but even a greater share back. So happy anniversary, Robin. Um, I look forward to going to dinner with you tonight and uh, um, did want to make one announcement here as we conclude today's uh, hub day hallelujah. Um, I am both pleased and saddened to, to report that uh, our Rooster Jake, uh, who has uh, graced us with his presence here through Lent and uh, through the season of Easter and past Pentecost, um, has been relocated. A neighbor came in on Monday to let us know that Jake has um, been relocated to a farm in the El Dorado Hills. So we won't be seeing or hearing Jake here um, at Ascension in the in the future, but uh, we have our fond memories of Jake to hold on to and to 
and to remember that uh, the sun has risen. The sun is risen. Jesus Christ is indeed raised from the dead. And for that, we give thanks. I look forward to seeing you next week on uh, the Hump Day Hallelujah.